Welcome back everyone, I am Mad Mace, and today we're doing another Chilla's Art game. This one is Stigmatized Property. Uh, I actually wanted to go into this one a little bit more blind, so I didn't even read the description of the game. So I'm curious what this one shall entail. Let's get into it. Right into it, I guess. Just for y'all's sake, I'm gonna turn that brightness up just a little bit. Uh, hopefully, so y'all can see it a little bit. <laughs> All right. Can, can I just go this way? Maybe I don't want to go to Creepy Guy's house, whoever Creepy Guy is. There's a bright vending machine. Right in front of a, what I can only imagine is a propane tank. Seems safe. What's this? Is that something I can pick up? What is that? What are you... Oh, I got money, I guess. Can I buy a Coke? Hey, it is dark down this hallway. I hope this is the right way, too. What is that? Hello? Anybody home? Hope oh, I'ma just creep around your backyard there, peeps. Hope y'all don't mind. Pray in front of the shrine. Sure. Did I do it? Did I beat the game? I half expected something to be right there on the corner when I turned around. But I guess they don't want to be that cheap all the time. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, the dead cat. Poor thing, yeah. Oh, that's sad. I know this may make me sound like a monster, but I have accidentally run over a pet here and there. Just because we have some neighbors that just let all of their pets run wild and... Sorry, but at nighttime, you just don't see them when they run out in front of you. And I feel horrible for it, but you know what? That's that's on owners that just don't know how to take care of their pets. What's back there? How do I get back there? I heard somebody else walk. Place is so dark, I just have no idea where to go. Can't see nothing. I go this way? What's this way? I feel like the other way is the right way. There's nothing. Okay, so. I've wasted y'all's time. Let's get into the game. What do you... Ew. So that's where the smell is coming from. Who just throws a fish there? Gross. Apartment room 104. All right. What up, Froggy? Okay, 
104. Where are the numbers? Are you 104? Hello? Are you 104? I'm just gonna walk up and yank all their handles. See if anybody's home, anything unlocked. <laughs> Yes, yeah, so let me just walk around you at the back of the building here that's all dimly lit. Just look in somebody's apartment there. That's not creepy. Is it upstairs then? I wish there was an indicator showing which one's which. Then I wouldn't be yanking all the handles. I'm assuming that's it. Hello? Who could have hide this? Why would you want to do that? Sumimasen! can't just wait outside, I need to get in. Even if somebody invited... Even if you're invited over to somebody's house, you don't just climb in their window. I has key. Y'all heard that too, right? Somebody was walking. Let me just break into this person's house. I don't like where this is going. Why would you just enter somebody's home if they're not home? Even if invited over, it's just weird. Eh? It actually does look like a really nice apartment. I feel like that shall quickly change. Do, do I not have a reflection? My vampire, am I already dead? Ooh, donuts. Who leaves donuts on the couch? There's a table right there. Now they're going to have, you know, like all the farts that are contained in that couch are going to be all up in your donuts. You have stinky breath. Blech. Nasties. Y'all hear that door? Am I gonna wipe somebody with this? Give them the old molly wipe? Hey. How's that light turned on? Can I go back down there? That was locked before. walking y'all hear that right why is he just standing there
I'm sorry I touched your stool. Apartment memo. This apartment cannot be demolished. I tried to call a contractor trying to destroy it, but for some reason the phone line stops working. My mother suddenly becomes... My mother suddenly becomes ill. I hope it isn't related. The local priest will not come. I tried asking other people to ask the priest. The priest got into an accident and died. Talismans are useless. I bought a box of talismans and stuck them on my walls, but they were all burned the next day. Whenever I put a talisman on the wall, the word curse will continue to appear in my head. Stop it, whatever you are. The apartment does not catch fire. The building repels fire. The apartment must continue to sell. A resident will be chosen every month. The chosen one will be possessed in a week. And after the possession, the person completely disappears from this world and no one remembers a thing about the person. I keep having nightmares and a strange voice keeps telling me to bring human. I can't sell the apartment. I can't let them hurt my family. Someone please help me. What is that? Click on it, nothing happens. Is that like a doorbell or is that just the light making that noise? And why do I have a stick? What do I need the stick for? Am I going to stick it to him? I don't trust you. That was obnoxious. I, I click on things, but I can't use them. What is happening? So, what do I do? What do I do? Where do I go? This is a nice apartment. I'll give them that. Who's walking? I hear you. Oh, stop it. Oh, well, that was a thing in the bathtub. Use hook. Am I hooking a hole? What is that? Oh, is that one of the seven pages? Slender Man? Is this apartment possessed by Slender? April 4th, moving is over at last, and today marks the first day living alone and also the first day writing a journal. I really look forward to the experience. I've always dreamed of it. I decided to move here because the rent is very cheap. I honestly can't believe that a broke student like me can afford such a nice room. Plus, it's really close to my school. How amazing is that? I ate out with my parents today to celebrate the move, and they were both laughing and just having a great time. Living alone is great and all, but man, I'm going to miss those faces. They told me that they're going to be here for only a couple of days. They kept telling me how worried they are, but they're just overthinking. They don't have to worry about a thing. I'm going to do just fine. Yeah, you know, parents always worry a little bit when they're, uh, when their child goes uh, goes off on their own for the first time, you know. Oh, is that what this is? Is this another page? Ooh, another page. Ew, the paper's wet. Need to find a way to dry it. And the reflection, it shows a closed door, but that's clearly an open door. Use dryer. Sure. Did I do it? Did I win?
April 5th. Today, I took the whole day just setting everything up in the room. What used to be a room with a small luggage and a simple bed now became a room with a bunch of furniture and a whopping queen size bed. The previous tenant left everything and the owner was too lazy to get rid of them. Dad seemed to like this house so badly. He, Dad seemed to like this house so badly. He said he'd like to stay a little longer, but as much as I appreciate their company, I'd like to live life already. The owner came to say hello today. He looked like he could use a little sleep, though. What was wrong with him? He shook my hand with a big smile on his face, told me how grateful he was for someone to finally rent the room, but how he stopped smiling right when he let my hand go. That was way too weird. Anyways, the new semester starts tomorrow. Gotta get ready. Interesting. Interesting, very, very interesting. So, okay, so that must... What was it? Must be a page down there that I couldn't pick up earlier. It's so loud out here. Just run back here to the creepy old man that's not in the window no more. See what this note says. April 6th. Today was the first day of the semester. It's good to see my boys again. They wanted to come see my new apartment, but I don't know. They better not fuck anything up. Mashima Sensei? If I'm saying that uh incorrectly, please let me know. As my homeroom teacher, I wonder what kind of teacher she is. I hope she's not mean like the previous one. That guy was an asshole. Another weird thing happened today. When I got out of the room this morning, some middle-aged ladies across the street gathered and talked bad about the apartment. Women of that age like to gossip. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, I cannot read or talk. Women of that age like to gossip a lot. It's probably whatever. Sure. Now what? I watch some TV. Open drawers. Nothing in there. I'm assuming the, the whole thing is I just gotta get through all the pages. I really don't want to look through that hole again. Oh, you know what? Wonder if that leads inside the locked room. Can I get the step ladder? Anything in the trash? Old food. I hear you walking. Show yourself. I don't want to, but here we go. Hang up. Oh, I'm just in somebody else's bathroom. I'm sorry I broke into your bathroom window, but, uh, oh, this is the same apartment. Okay. Thought this was somebody else's apartment. Okay, nobody saw that. I'm not a creeper. I'm just trying to get these pages. April 7th. I said hello to my fellow neighbors today. That's a polite thing to do, right? Always be nice to your neighbors, right, Mom? But you know what, Mom? I don't think that's what works here. I don't think that work. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't think that works here. Because I just got the cold shoulders from them. When I said good morning to the neighbor on the right, he just stared at me with his big eyes, and without a word from his mouth, he shut the door on me. Even now, his big, big cat-like eyes won't leave my head. Ah, I shouldn't be too rude. I, I'll probably give it another go some other time. Anyways, today I saw a girl who looked just like the girl in 
Shibakibara89 in my class. Her name's Mira, and I'd like to get to know her. And from what I heard, she's single, ready to mingle. <laughs> How lucky. I'm excited for tomorrow. Okay, so am I... Uh, uh, now I'm assuming I'm a, a, a guy. Right? I, I'm not sure what perspective this is from. So now what? So I broke into that room... Anything in the washer and the dryer? Hey, I didn't mean to close you. Open bag up. It's time for a splish splash bath. Thing in the fridge. Man, I can't open nothing. Really breaks my immersion, man. Anything in that box? Okay, so I really don't want to, but I feel like I need to look through the hole again. There's going to be something looking back at me. I already know it. Hmm. Nothing. Okay. 40 degrees. I mentioned this in another video. I really want to know what the symbols on here actually say, because I remember in parasocial, this controlled the bathtub, but does it also control the temperature of the apartment? Because if it does 40 degrees Celsius, the Lord, that's hot. Why? Why so hot? Are you a lizard? Okay, now where do I go? Knock, knock, and go home. You got a torn up paper in your apartment? Hello? Oh. Hi, bird. I can't, I can't click on the bird. It's got, it's got a note. Can I have it? Can, can I have the note? A bird. I have that. Okay, so there's one. Don't know how to get. Do I need to go get the newspaper or something? Just, just whop it over the head. I'll pick up a pillow. Maybe give it a donut. Oh, man, so many donuts. Why are there so many donuts? So I gotta go. You know, to their window because I really don't want to. <laughs> Isn't this his mother's, mother's car? Mother. There's an indicator there, but I can't I can't do anything with it, huh? Oh a shrine. I didn't see this earlier. <clears throat> not sure what that does. And I'm not sure what the money does either. Sorry. I took your money. Oh. Oh, that was a bunch of coin. Hmm. That's odd. I see a crumpled paper in one of the slots. It says it costs a hundred yen. Need to find some change. Oh dang. Okay. Okay. Hey, give, give me that paper. You have it. I feel like I'm wasting y'all's time. I'm sorry, but I'm not entirely sure exactly what to do. I, I need more money. I know that, but where? I need more money.
Okay, I remember back towards, I'm gonna backtrack a little bit. I'm gonna backtrack towards the beginning. I remember seeing like a little pickup sign or indicator down that way. I don't remember, was there anything this way? So maybe, what's this? It looks like a, it looks like a car key, oh. Find another paper. Okay. But never mind. I'll backtrack in a minute. It'd be nice if I could carry more than one at a time. Who moved my stuff? See? That's why you don't leave your front door open. Somebody moves your stuff. And they take your fucking donuts. Who steals donuts? That's fucked up. You can have the chairs and the mirror. I don't get, give me my donuts. April 8th. Mom came over to my room again. Uh, I told her she doesn't have to come anymore. I think she had a fight with dad again. Her passive aggressive attitude got to me. So I asked her how dad is doing. She refused to talk about it. And instead just sat there quietly. I've never seen her like this before. She would usually put a fake smile on her face after a fight. I would notice that, but it just wasn't like that this time. An hour or so later, she regained her usual positivity when she asked me if I can invite my old time friend Sayaka. She had the biggest smile when I agreed to it. Mom must be worried for me to live alone still. I only have Mira-chan in mind right now, though. Hmm, but that smile. Her eyes weren't smiling. Do you smile with your eyes? Unless, unless it just meant the expression. Okay, so I need two more pieces of paper. I know the bird has one. The vending machine has the other. Can I get the bird one now? I still can't get the bird one. Well, what do I got to do to get the bird one? Do I got to get the vending machine first? said it was a hundred yen oh Thanks for the coin, but why did you leave a noose? That's just rude. You know, a little backstory. I work in a liquor store and actually my first day at this job. Well, okay. A little backstory to the backstory. I started down in the next town over at a liquor store down there and I worked there for three years and then I moved up to the, it's the same company, but they have another liquor store in the town I live in. So I switched to that one. My first day at that job. I had, uh, apparently we had run out of the, uh, 375 milliliter bottles of McCormick vodka and the dude that was a customer that wanted a bottle of it was so mad that I didn't have a pint of vodka. He literally told me to go kill myself and <laughs> I'm just like, bruh, my first day on the job, man, I haven't even ordered anything yet. Like. What? You want two half pints? 
You know, when it comes to me, you know, people can say that stuff all day long. I don't care. Because you know what? It's my life. I do what I want. Give a dead fish to the crow. Achievement unlocked. Thank you. Okay, so we got this paper. April 9th, I was able to talk to Mirachan today. What a great day, except for one thing. Mom was gone when I woke up this morning. Her car was still parked here, and it's odd for her to leave without notice. I hope Dad picked her up or something, because the car is still, still there. I invited Sayaka today and said she'd come tomorrow. I hope this makes her happy again. Finish reading, yes. Wait a minute. Am I Sayaka? Because in the beginning, it was a female voice that said uh, that I was invited over to his apartment. So is this the aftermath? Am I Sayaka that came the next day? I really don't want to look through that peephole again. So I gotta find 20 more coin. Anybody house uh, I can go inside now or anything? Is there anything in here? Anything in the trash? So loud. Nothing in there. Did, uh, did the mom leave any coin in the car? No. Dang it, mom. Okay, so. Oh, somebody cleaned up the cat. I'm sorry, I know I'm ugly, but you ain't gonna scream. Okay, I just need ten more now. Anybody want to give me their yen? Anybody? I just need ten yen. Just ten yen. still so dark back here. It's so hard to see anything. That's so bright. I saw that this way is open. Do I go here? It's so hard to see anything. Oh, shrine. I don't know what praying at the I feel slightly warmer. Is it just my imagination? I, I don't know what that means. Coin? Anybody coin? God dang. All kind of secret little passageways and junk, like. Coin, coin, I just need 10 coin. Hello? Can't go that way, okay. So I really don't know. over here, okay. Uh, 
Just need 10 more coin. Anybody else want to pop their freaky little heads out and give me 10 coin? It's 10 coin. It's all I need. last coin at y'all are probably screaming at me in the comments like oh it's right there it's right there you missed it well you know what I'm stupid I gotta go back in here do I really gotta look through the hole again Is that what's happening? But I don't want to. Really hate that I hear people walking. So loud out there and. Oh. Thanks for the 10 yen. Oh, I probably should. Let's do the whole. Okay. Thank you. Thanks for the yen. I'm gonna go buy a paper now. That thing just spits it out on the ground. Good lord. Imagine if that was a soda. Hit the ground and all over the place. There is no escape. I can't read the rest. Call him later. I need to get home. Okay. I'm saying that's a good idea. Didn't I close that? I did close that, right? I looked back repeatedly as I felt I was constantly being watched, but no matter how many times I looked, no one was there. I couldn't handle the fear. I walked as fast as I could. He was absent from school the next day. His seat was occupied by someone else. I tried asking his friends and teachers, but none of them knew or even heard of his name. It goes along with the newspaper we read. After school, I went to the same apartment. However, the apartment was sold. According to the locals, the place has been on sale for a while. A while. Where did the apartment go? And the boy I knew and loved, where did he go? Was it all my dream? Come to think of it. I don't remember his name either. Wait, who am I even talking about? Uh-oh. The end. Result saved. Get the good ending. Oh. I got the good ending. Yay! What's the bad ending? And I just noticed, what is that creepy little thing in the bottom left corner? There's the person that was peeking at me in the at the doorway. There's the dude that was in the apartment. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure what is... I so it just starts me all over from the beginning, huh? Oh, yep. I just want to see what the bad ending is, so I'm just going to try to hurry through this right quick. So 
I haven't prayed at any of the shrines. Is that the difference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me your coin. Where was the last coin at? I don't remember. You think I'd remember? I just played this. Oh yeah, that's right. It, it came out of the hole. Meh. <laughs> secret way to get in there or something? Hmm. Okay, I'll just go get the last page. Let's see if that happens. The cuss. Anybody? Anybody? Hello? I need to get home, okay? So that was... Oh no. How oh, freaky. No! 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 Good God! I would say that is a bad ending. Result possessed. Possessed. Get the bad ending. Yeah, I would say that's definitely a bad ending. I prefer the good ending. I, uh, I don't like being possessed. <laughs> All right, so that was stigmatized property. Pretty short, simple, uh, simple game. But you know what? It's chill as art, and they know how to tell a story. And I appreciate them for this. I, uh... I was just reading, I guess they released another new game here recently, uh, you know, after Parasocial. So, uh, I'll probably check into playing that one here soon. I, I absolutely, yeah, absolutely adore this company at, at Chilizard. I mean, I, I know it's just two people, but they know what they're doing. They make a very suspenseful psychological horror and they do it well. And I, I appreciate that. So. I will see y'all in the next video.